Hi guys, it's Mark Zickrey, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zickrey of Space Command. And today I'm going to be presenting something very different. It's not science fiction. Well, then what the hell is it doing on Mr. Sci-Fi, you may ask? Well, Elaine Zickrey, my writing, directing, producing partner and partner in life, wife, etc., for all of these many um, decades, uh, recently wrote and directed and produced a very, very, very funny comedy. Uh, called The Family Crystal, comedy web series, and I wanted to share it with you um, the entire first season, which as a web series comprises 45 minutes. It stars many, many uh, very talented actors who you've seen on a number of different TV shows over the years, uh, and uh, you'll recognize them certainly. And, um, and uh, I was the producer on it, which meant I delivered pizza <laughs> during the shoot, amongst other um, interesting tasks. But I just want to share it with you, and uh, without any further ado, here is The Family Crystal, written and directed and produced by Elaine Zickrey. Have you ever heard people talking of family? And one of them was pissed off, rigid, and you know, just generally horrible. You'd probably think it was their fault, but... We're supposed to take turns. I don't think I should have to. He's your dad as much as he's mine. I'm the pretty one. So? I lead a pretty person's life. I, I shouldn't have to caretake. Brenda, you don't lead a pretty person's life. You lead a bitch person's life. You blame me, don't you? For being, you know, pretty. <sighs> Thanks. I need your help. I'm on deadline. <sighs> what? Dad's hungry. Uh huh. Here, pizza. Stuff it down his throat. Eric isn't home. You need your husband home to order pizza? He does it. You don't know how to order a pizza. I never had to. So make him a sandwich. You do know how to make him a sandwich, don't of, you? Of course I know how to make a sandwich. Only Dad complained. About what? The peanut butter. Dad likes peanut butter. But he said he didn't want it for lunch, too. Rhonda, as far as I'm concerned, if he doesn't want peanut butter, let him eat bread. I'm all out of bread. <sighs> What's this? Bread. But it's spoiled. What makes you think it's spoiled? If it's not spoiled, how come it's brown? <sighs> Shit! Damn idiots! Refuse to stop letting goddamn slant eyes squeeze good American kids out of our colleges with their goddamn slant eye GPAs and study habits. Why don't they find a country of their own if they're that goddamn smart? Ta-da! What's this? Cake. 
I surmised it's a cake. Aren't we going to eat first? Um, we just ate. I knew that. And thanks for the great lunch. Still got peanut butter in my teeth. I added jelly. I noticed. It just came into my head. Wow. Happy birthday, Daddy. Happy birthday? Where are the candles? You said you didn't want any. I most certainly did not. Yeah, Dad, you did. Would you like me to buy you some? No, I don't want you to buy me some. A little late. I think you could have gone to the trouble of picking me up a few candles without me having to beg. I'm sorry. Dad, your mind is going. What kind of thing is that to say to your father? <laughs> a true kind? She didn't mean You're it. You're mean? Your sister's a very mean girl. I'm sorry. Like that damn black cop that kept giving me those DUIs. Maybe she's got some black in her. I don't know where else she'd get it. It's just sad. Dad is a gibbering idiot. Crystal. Gibber, gibber, gibber. She's ruining my birthday. Crystal, you're ruining Dad's birthday. I want you to leave. Always happy to oblige. But first, <laughs> open my present. Well, firstly, I want to acknowledge the courage it must have taken for the two of you to come here today. And I can see from your intake paperwork that you both spent a great deal of time and effort answering all of our nosy questions with a great deal of specificity and care. Very helpful. Thanks so much. Okay, that done. Let's begin at the beginning. Now, Rhonda, what do you see as your main point of conflict? She thinks I'm dumb. <sighs> Eric, hi. Um. Why I'm here, uh, all by myself, uh, totally on my own volition, is to see if there's any way that you could take your dad just for weekends, despite it, you know, not being completely your turn. <laughs> For Pete's sakes, get out of my bush. <gasps> that was pathetic! Sweetheart, Peach, you really don't need to yell. I'm not yelling! She's somewhat stressed. Eric, you're a vet. Can't you just put him down? <gasps> Can you do that? Yes. <gasps> but there'd be consequences. W what kind of consequences? Serious? Consequences? Why? Wouldn't it just be a, a, whatchamacallit, a mercy killing? I don't think your dad would see a lethal injection of dog death as a mercy. It would be a mercy to me. Eric, why did you marry her? My mother didn't want me living at home any longer. Uh, and also, once Rhonda started making plans, it seemed like the path of least resistance. I always take the path of least resistance. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do? Can you take weekends? Uh-uh. Well, okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear? You were supposed to fix it! Rhonda, love. You're useless! I thought I was marrying a man who could do things and had muscles! You're not like the movies! Eric? <laughs> yes? Don't suppose you want it overnight. I'll pack. No, wait, that was just... Ah! I'll take Eric back if she'll take Dad. Eric. 
What would you like to see happen? Ideally? Sure. I'd wake up and be someone else. Mm. Someone without problems? Oh, yes, everyone's got them, don't they? Okay, um, let's say I don't wake up. I'm dead. Rhonda, how does it make you feel to hear Eric say that? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. No offense, but I can recommend someone much better to do your hair. I hadn't realized that vets took their work home with them. No, I didn't. Until now, Rhonda wouldn't let me. It's about failure to thrive. Some animals simply can't cut it in a cage. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell... Wait, you're actually following what I'm saying? Yeah. My God. Mmm. <laughs> this is great. What is it? Uh, leftover shit surprise? <laughs> 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 now, is there more? Lots. On the stove. Me? Who else? Okay, so I... Go to kitchen, walk to pot, uh -huh. scoop food up, put food in. Okay. Wow, this is great. Rhonda never lets me serve myself. Why is that? Oh dear. I kind of made a mess. Shall I clean it up? That'd be great. Only, why don't we finish eating first? Okay. You know, you can't imagine how it feels to be, like, heard, you know? So you get the cage thing? I just can't figure, what are the bars? Low expectations, you poor doofus. You see something you want, you start to reach, slam that old jail door. You know what I wish? No, Eric. What do you wish? I really and truly wish I didn't care about looks. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, that sounded like your television set. Uh, would you like me to pay for it? That'd be great. Are you keeping a running total? So, Eric, when are you planning on heading back? Heading, but I thought you were going to save me. Crystal, the reason I invited you in separately was because I've noticed that you don't seem to say much during our sessions. Why is that? I thought my problems were doing a pretty good job of talking for themselves. So how long has he been out? About six hours. Wow. Oh my gosh, what a great idea. Uh-huh. You're so inventive. Could you help me here, please? So you want to get his legs? Wait. What? He's too tall. His head is going to... Oh dear. 
Do you usually have this problem? I don't usually do this. Yeah. Wow. You're amazing. Eric. Quit trying to be impressed. I'm just a survivor. Well, I just get the feeling that I made you angry. Come on, get us. Jesus, he weighs a ton. You dragged him in all by yourself? <coughs> Shit. Oh dear. It's just, in retrospect, my looks comment seems kind of insensitive. My gosh, you sure know how to fasten. Let's just get him up. Oh, oh man. None of my dogs weigh this much. Man, you're cool as a cucumber. If he were my dad, Eric, I Eric, mean... cut it out. Well, if it makes you feel better, I had a bad childhood too. What makes you think I had a bad childhood? Well, uh, I just don't want to blow you saving me. Eric, I was never gonna save you. Uh, yes, you were. You're the nice one. You wouldn't have been able to help yourself. Eric? Uh, you've got to. My life's a mess. Your life's a mess? Yeah. I just bungee corded my dad's head to a broomstick. But, but I'm a veterinarian. I'm a good guy. I get my face licked. Uh, what? Uh, uh. What the hell is going on? So that's where the kidnappers left me. Tied to a dolly, behind Yummy Freeze, by the trash receptacle. Oh gosh, Daddy, we were so relieved. Why would the kidnappers leave me strapped to a goddamn dolly behind goddamn Yummy Freeze by the goddamn trash receptacle? Maybe they figured if nobody came up with the loot, they could just throw you away. And how much loot were you prepared to pay? Well, Ten bucks. Ten bucks? <laughs> well, Dad, we figured uh, kids, you know? Kids who drive Porsches and eat $100 video games for breakfast. Well, um, little kids? Minorities, Dad. Kids from a minority. Oh, now it's all starting to make a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daddy? Yes? Now that it's starting to make sense, do you think you could tell us where you hid the keys so we can unhandcuff you from my chair? Oh, no, Rhonda, angel. You value your chair. I didn't throw them out behind the yummy freeze. They did. Rhonda, nobody did. We made it up, remember? Rhonda doesn't want to take her turn. Yes, Daddy, I do. I was just upset because Crystal stole Eric from me. So, bent on punishment, you dumped your dad pie-eyed on her doorstep. Well, Daddy, she doesn't love you like I do. Have you ever considered an alternative besides living with your girls? You mean like the uh, trash receptacle behind Yummy Breeze? Well, I'm sorry. I don't mean to uh, interrupt you, but could you speed up the process? I don't know what my moron son-in-law is paying you. What, $30, $35 an hour? Yeah. Uh, I don't begrudge. You Jews know how to make a dollar. Good for you. Just don't want to be parked while the meter's running if you get my drift. We gave him all these lovely brochures and... The fruit of my loins want to dump me in old camp. That's when your life's over and you're no goddamn use to anybody. And they force you into arts and crafts as though you were six. And they're not watching you bloom. They're waiting for you to die. Daddy. Oh, and they're not just old. They're clinically depressed because everything they spent their entire life struggling to build is reduced to gray ash and dripping smoke. 
We didn't get the arts and crafts when we were six. He couldn't spare the crayon money. Don't nitpick! Now that's a surprise. Which part? Eric leaving me or him taking dad? Well... I'm not surprised by either. You're not? Of course not. I'm a bitch. Um... Eric threw me out! Big Chief needed fire water. Why? Big Chief thirsty. Why did Eric give Big Chief the boot? I haven't a clue. You walked into his new place and what did you do? I didn't get to his place. He threw me out of the car. Hmm. What's up with that moron and his pets anyhow? He's a vet, Dad. I serve my country proudly too. What the goddamn hell does that got to do with it? Ooh, I hate Pets. <laughs> Except to shoot him. It, it survived. Uh-huh. What's for lunch? <laughs> Wrong turn, Dad. Lunch will be served at Rhonda's. Have you gone simple? She can't afford that place without Eric. Daddy. What is it, Angel? Do you think I need to change? I don't know. I can't smell you from over here. No, I mean... Because of Eric. Well, your marriage was pretty much on greased rails until your harlot of a sister came along. You're right. But she's so... Rhonda, you're married to a man who in my presence kissed the dachshund on the lips. I never thought about losing the house. You're evil. Indeed I am. It's part of the code of the fat. Nah, don't you worry, Angel. You and I will start moving in. All your stuff. What? <laughs> After lunch. Hold it. You two Fruit Loops and I are about shit. Eric, thank God. Thank God? Oh, Crystal, darling. I knew you'd forgive me. I'm sorry, uh, your objective is? When I go out. On a date? No, just out, like my front door. You feel you want to reach a point where you no longer... Frighten cats. So it's a joke? Ah, well, the gift certificate came from my sister, who isn't generally a wit. Question? Uh-huh. You're wearing, um... A running suit. Oh. So you run. Not even to catch the bus. Comfortable. Yeah. But mostly I like it's suitable for all occasions thing. And your hair. Uh-huh. What happened? Guess I forgot. Forgot. To care. So men aren't of any interest. Oh, yeah, they are. Just not to wear a shower. So it can be a challenge. Why don't we shift to something a bit more simple? No! It's gonna be deep! I've gotta get smart so that my husband will come back and won't make me move in with my mean sister and never ever end my turn with Dad! Good. So, tell me. Growing up, what did you read? Oh no, we had television. What about in school? 
Aren't you allowed to just forget that stuff as soon as you take the tests? Okay, um, you know, the brain learns in different ways. Some people take things in through their eyes, some through hearing. I do both. Yes, good. <laughs> your senses can do more than maneuver you through your living room. They can talk to the brain in ways that make it more big. Yes, okay, that's just what I need. So why don't I try reading to you? Oh, okay. <laughs> It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Would you like a fresh cup of coffee? I'm sorry? It just felt like you were getting sleepy. <laughs> no one is cooperating. Ah! I didn't bring him to stay. I just can't leave him. He's getting I am not getting. I needed a latte, okay? And we weren't that late to the doctor's office, and someone said you can get in trouble leaving them in the car. So I stuffed him in a safe corner, and I was waiting in line when all of a sudden there was this big, angry voice, and it was Dad having this gosh awful argument with a sugar packet. She's making a great big deal out of nothing. Daddy! Were you there when it started? Sit there and read that! No. <laughs> you see? You see? Zero cooperation. How can I be expected to fix us if. Oh my god. What? My gift certificate. You didn't even use it. Rhonda. Do you have any idea how much money I spent or would have if it didn't come in the promotional gift basket? They weren't up to the challenge. Why do you suddenly need me gorgeous anyway? It's not for me. It's for you. So you want to feel so jealous all the time and mean about... <laughs> about taking turns. Rhonda. I forgot something. Dog kisser! Dad, sit. Read. Fuck you. Fuck you, that's good. It's better than me. I need to be liked. Would you two stop nattering? I'm trying to read. No, Dad. You're pretending to read. You're too far gone to follow. Rhonda, you're such a bitch. Daddy, I'm Rhonda. She's Crystal. I knew that. Read, Dad. Fuck you. Oh my gosh, it's really happening, isn't it? Daddy's getting old. Yeah? What if that happens to us? Uh, I don't want to go dotty. Well, what did he say? Who? The doctor, when you told him about the evil, taunting sugar packet. He didn't care. Nobody wants to listen to old people. Shut, Shut up, up, Daddy. Dad. Fuck you. If you don't take him, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> That's indirect. Why don't you just kill him? Fuck you. I need a drink. Yeah? Great. I'll get you one. In fact, I'll join you! Don't go in there! Why not? Because the last time you did, you left the cabinet open and knocked yourself out cold. Ah! Rhonda. Rhonda. Are you okay? Crystal. My God, it worked! What worked? My gift certificate! Look at yourself! Oh. Wow! Cool! Only, I guess Dad was right. You are black. I like it. It's exotic. It's like... It's like being a Nubian princess. Nubian? Is that a cruise line? Rhonda, would I be staring at myself in happy admiration if what I transmogrified into was a big boat? I, um, trans what? 
But I do think you were right about one thing. I don't think I need to be mean anymore. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Crystal, this is wonderful! Should I start moving Daddy's stuff? Dad? Yeah, I, I have no turns anymore. You're gonna take him, right? Right, no more turns. He's all yours. What? Well, I'm pretty now. I have to lead a pretty person's life. Only I'm almost old, so I have to play catch-up. You're so fucked. <laughs> You okay? Ah! You're sure about this? Oh yes. <laughs> because as I explained, math is not my specialty. Isn't that funny? Somehow, when I'm in your hands, I feel completely secure. Um, well, I hope not to disappoint. <laughs> Um, let's start with some simple addition. Or is that too simple? Growing up, all my friends had help with... I don't blame my mom. I know she was always at a loss with this stuff. And also by then she was dead. But with my dad it was hard. Because it came easy to him, only he never had the time. Engrossed in work? A drunkard. Oh. Oh? A seriously alcoholic birth parent. That's probably why you're... Why I'm what? Not math friendly. Oh. <laughs> so, addition. Is that where you use that little plus thingy? Uh, yes. Very good. Flatterer. You always say just the right thing. Thanks. Uh, let me get out some scratch paper and uh... Don't be shy about asking questions. Would you like to sleep with me? What? Because my husband left me for my sister, who's fat. Uh, maybe I should go. No! You owe me the full hour! What's the big emergency? Guess. Dad? It wasn't my fault I had to leave him alone. There was a huge shoe sale at Pansy Rose. Is he here? Now, I got a call. Evidently, he went out seeking employment. He thought they'd employ him as the President of the United States? I'm not that far gone! It seems that one of his drinking buddies, who could still read, read him an ad about imitators. Thespians! Put out by a firm which, as they informed me in decidedly colorful language, will never be hired by the Board of Education. Again. Big fucking deal. The reason being, our dad's honest aid makes eight-year-olds cry. Fucking weak willies. Daddy. Oh, come on, Rhonda. It's not my fault. You know how I get when I'm sloshed. Uh, Crystal? Yeah? Do you think Daddy needs to go on an elevator? What? Yeah, uh, escalator. Twelve step? Where they put people where then they become embarrassing. Oh, talk radio. Crystal. I'm in the room. I'm listening to this. Can't we make him? It doesn't work that way. Why not? You've got a dolly. Hello? Daddy, wouldn't you like to stop embarrassing us? Oh, come on, Rhonda. I've got troubles of my own. Yes, but Daddy, don't you think Eric might love me more if you... If you just stayed in your room and didn't need to drink so much? Angel, I'm not the problem. You simply don't have those kissable docks and lips. It's good to know he's not the problem.
Now I have to admit this is something of a surprise. I don't think my darling little girls love me anymore. Hmm. Isn't this the point at which you offer me some reassurance? Or don't you do that? Oh, I do. But at a price. <laughs> How much? You'd have to come back when you weren't drunk. What makes you think I'm drunk? Whoops! You know, I've been thinking. I like it here. But the noise, the extensive property damage, the broken toe. Well, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Uh, papillons uh, are hard to see. Especially in the dark. Was there a reason it was in the bathroom? I'd rather not answer that question at this emotionally heightened time. But Do you like your replacement TV? Yeah. It's even nicer than the first replacement TV. Oh, really? Uh, so you figured out how to turn it on? No. Uh, it's the latest thing. See, it's high def ready, so it's crystal clear. And if you put the goggles on that come with it, you can see it in 3D Great. with Sura. See anyway, it? you ever speculate how after the initial panic, living on your own might be fun? Oh, okay. Ms. Mean is done for now. What makes you think I want Eric back? She doesn't. Shut, Shut up, Dad! Dad. Rhonda, when one grows up with a much younger sibling, it's... Sibling? Sister. Oh, I thought the word meant you had a speech defect. No. When one grows up with a much younger sister, sometimes one can be blind to the point at which they fully mature. I knew it! Uh, 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 uh. Crystal missed me growing up. <laughs> so... I realize, if there's any mercy in heaven, Eric will wind up back here with you. Yes, you feel it too? Ah, oh, the big hand of fate clutching our two hearts and our two souls together in one single mushed together throbbing doohickey. Yeah, uh... Oh, Crystal, you are so right. Oh, that dear sweet boy, he never refused sex. So what did he say? He wants to meet. Uh-huh. Someplace. Romantic. Where you can really talk. Yes, perfect. We'll communicate. Men love it when you listen. Wow. That's so inventive. So where are we going to wait? What about Dad? For this, don't you worry. I'll take care of Dad. What are you doing in there? Making popcorn, Dad, for your movie. You know, Rhonda, I've always admired you. Crystal. I, I met Crystal. I know, Mom. That's okay. Why are we watching the small TV? Why aren't we watching the big new one in the other room? I'm saving that for someone special. Who? An electrical engineer. Oh, I love Steven Seagal. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. They were all out of Steven. But you'll like this much better. What is it? A documentary. 
documentary. Watch. Alcoholism is a disease, the third leading cause of death in America. It affects every organ of the body. As example, we have here a partially dissected corpse. More butter in your popcorn, Dad? Externally, you'll note the clubbed fingers, the yellowed paper-thin skin, and due to a loss in testosterone, the enlarged breasts. However, the real damage lies within. This, although it may be difficult to recognize, was once a human liver. Wow! Fresh in your popcorn? <laughs> Here's what I'd like to try, if it's all right with you. When we share the bad things, that tends to close doors. And when we talk about what we want, that tends to open them, creating possibility, which initially we may not see as possible. Rhonda, is there anything you want? Rhonda? I want it back like it was before Crystal, when my house was forever my house. And I didn't have to worry about men things like money and pizza and cars that suddenly make scary <laughs> noises whenever I slow at an intersection. I want what I expect to happen to happen, where I can enjoy a fancy meal while being looked at like a Snickers bar that doesn't have to be shared with anybody. Instead of sitting here, hungry, next to someone who won't even look in my direction, and stuck in this super uncomfortable push-up bra, I want to be a safe, pretty wife in a safe, nice house with a daddy in a far other place where I never ever have to hear that big daddy sigh that means Rhonda's the dumb one ever ever again. And Eric, outside of being dead, anything for you? Crystal told me that if I came, she'd tell me where she had my dock shined. You know what the problem is? Nobody tries. I try. Only... Only? I get confused. How long have Eric and Daddy had themselves barricaded in the restroom? About eight hours. By the way, whatever gave Dad the idea that you were going to ship him off to a home? Uh, probably the two men who came to collect him. It wasn't going to be forever, just until your turn. I'm hungry. How could you possibly be hungry? You just ate nine of my ten sandwiches and you're working on the last one now. Any chips? You ate all just the chips. Just asking. You ought to be grateful. I do not know what weird-ass brand of peanut butter you buy, but it's crap. It's tuna fish. I knew that. Speaking of which, that being the last sandwich, you ought to know I'm a bit hungry here myself. Kind of good. Wonder why Rhonda never makes me tuna fish. It doesn't come in screw top jars. Dad, I've eaten nothing in eight hours. You think you might share and give me that other half? No way, you're the one who underpacked. Screw top jars. Maybe I should write the company. I've been thinking about what you said about trying. I'm terrified to hear myself say this, but you may have a point. You really mean it? Yeah. I actually did something my smart sister approves of. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I would so love to tell my friends about this. So tell them. Oh, but what if they wanted to meet you? No offense. Crystal says you're a vet. 
Yes, which I thought I'd mentioned over the last five years. May have. So, what do you do now? I'm a vet. Ongoingly. Why aren't you wearing a uniform? Budget cuts. Now that I don't get. Pennywise. I mean, what do we need? Room and resources. But you don't get that with a bang, bang, bang. Those foreign types are lousy sports when we take it. Dad, I really don't think politics, low blood sugar, and dementia make a very good mix. All I'm saying, Eric, is bang, bang, bang. Smula, right? I mean, even for the ammunition alone, just Jesus, they've got so many kids. I'm starting to find this conversation a little offensive. Oh, come on. You know what I mean. You've been over there. They're not like us. Shooting them's no different than shooting a dog. Now that we're all calm and have had the night to sleep on it, let's all be reasonable. Eric, you can't stay. I wasn't going to. Really? Of course not. At least, not for years and years. That is so lame. She wants you out now. And back with you? I don't want you back anymore. I've got bigger fish to fry. I'm taking a class. Hitch and Rich. See, it's the one next to the picture of the man who's maybe a million years old standing next to the scary-looking blonde woman. Oh, yeah. So you won't have to pay for my house anymore. This lady says I, all by myself, can get a senior citizen to do it. Well, you better hurry up. Mortgage payments due top of the week. Don't you worry about Rhonda. She'll never be without a roof. She and I have family. Okay. Where are you going? To the bathroom, if there are no objections. Isn't the bathroom the other direction? Hey, wait! Come back! So, where is she? She said 10 a.m., right? I wonder where she spent the night. Not here? No. You haven't spoken? I just got her message at work. You? I, I was at Rhonda's packing, which took longer than I thought because knowing my angel would be somewhat rash and not entirely trusting of her father's promises, I had to do while handcuffed to the bedpost, lest the men from the home return with reinforcements. I was in class. How to marry rich? I'd rather deal with old tongue than one that licks dog butt. Only... I wasn't expecting homework. Homework? Well, some of the elderly gentlemen passed on the first night of ecstasy before they signed anything. And now they expect us to come back with certificates and CPR. Oh, dear. What is CPR, anyway? I don't even know how to spell it. Maybe she's running late picking up snacks. Which I'll have you know is the make or break of any social occasion. Maybe I got the time wrong? Yeah, right. I'll call her cell. Atlantic 540. Oh. Uh, let me. Crystal, it's for you. Wait, 
Didn't she have it when she took a powder? Yes. Then she's been here and gone since you went to work. Uh, maybe something came up. What? I don't know what. Maybe she left a note. Daddy, I feel like this has something to do with me. My little princess, why would it have anything to do with you? Well, because I'm a bitch. Oh, shit. What? Is it about me? What did she say? Nothing. It's not a note, it's a receipt. She's on a six-month nature trek in the Amazon. 